Good morning. Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. I know this is... Yes, Teresa, I agree. It's a Monday that feels a little bit like a Friday. Thank you guys all. Anyone who voted um, for what day to have this live, thank you so very much. Um, I hope everyone had a wonderful Easter weekend. We had a nice quiet one here. I actually took most of the weekend off. So very um, fun. Um, we're going to jump right in today since this is a redo of what we tried to do Friday. I will mention I did call or text my internet service provider, a guy who works for them who had given me his number. He said there was a problem. He sent a tech out to do it. It was something outdoors and he said it was fixed late Friday. So cross our fingers that everything's going to work. Okay. Um, I really quickly do want to mention about, I added a, a link. <laughs> it had the wrong link first. So I Hopefully got the right link now. The Hero Arts Spring Stamp Along is coming up April 23rd and 24th. Oh, I hope I got those dates right. Um, I actually am going to have the kickoff video. It will be an edited video Friday the 22nd. I hope that is correct. Um, but super excited. And I have a really fun set of cards. And what Hero Arts is going to do is they're going to have an auction style, a lot like the Ukraine uh, car drive auction for anyone participating in the Hero Arts Stamp Along. So Saturday night, I believe, is the auction. I am going to be sharing a marker pull-down bag. I'm going to show you what... It's not going to be this exact one. I gave this one away in the UK... Ukraine. Ukraine. Ukraine card drive. This is what it looks like. It is a fabric storage bag, and it actually pulls down. So this is what it looks like with markers in it. And it pulls down so you can see what there is. And then you pull it up and I'll show you another photo. And it zips up like this. So this is what I'm going to give away with the entire set of cards I'm creating in my kickoff video. So you'll get both. If you're interested at all in participating. Um, let me switch back. I'm going to show you. I haven't got the bag sewn yet. I'm going to be doing that this evening. I'm gonna be using this rainbow material for the majority of the bag. I think this is going to be the cuff, maybe. I haven't decided yet, but I will share sneaks of it on social if you wanna see. But this is what I'm going to be making to go with my card set, which I'm really excited about. So um, that is coming up and you can check out the link if you'd like to. All right, with that being said, Replay Crew, we love you guys. Thank you so much for catching the replay. I appreciate it. Again, I apologize for all the technical difficulties last week. If you've watched lives from people before, you know what happens. So with that being said, let's flip the camera around and let's make some cute critters, shall we? Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick recap um, in case you weren't here Friday, and I kind of hope you weren't because that was a technical disaster. Um, we are going to be using the Mama Elephant So Appreciated and It's Okay stamp sets to create this super cute card. Now, when I started my video last Friday, we did the background first. I'm actually not going to do the background right now. We will do that a little bit later. We're going to start coloring first. Maybe we'll just switch it up and hope that that helps our video today. Any of the supplies I'm using are linked down below. Oh, Karen said she looked at the event and I got the dates right. That's good. I looked and then I went and did some stuff and came back, so I was afraid I might have gotten it wrong. Okay. Good morning. Hello, everybody. If you have any questions while we're going along, definitely let me know. I will try to catch those as we're going. If I miss any, I definitely try to go back and, and look when we're finished. Okay. I started coloring this briefly before everything went wrong. I'm glad it's this because the panda doesn't really require that much coloring. We're using warm gray three and zero zero. So we're just going to go ahead and kind of blend out. It looks like I kind of already put some of my color down. We're going to do a little coloring and a little chatting. 
this morning. Is anyone off work today or anything like that? Misty, Mama Elephant is one of my favorites too. I agree. Yes, uh, Amy, Loris, tech difficulties happen. They do. This has been an ongoing one in my neighborhood, which is they keep telling me it's fixed. But I have to say, being able to call someone directly is the best thing because when you call in, they tell you nothing's wrong and then they want to send a tech and that takes like two days. You know, it's the whole thing. But the last time he was like, you've called so many times. Here's my number. <laughs> Working, Teresa says, yes. Okay, I think, is this one? No, this is not the color I used. The problem here is I can't really remember what I colored because I designed this so long ago. Anne says, what are the sleeves you use to store your stamps and dies? Um, I use the Simon Says Stamp Sleeves. I do have links in the sidebar of my blog and I can provide them. Uh, when the video is over, I can add that to my video description, but that is what I use. I use both the standard and the big ones, depending on what I am um, storing, if it's a big stamp set or whatever. But I'm pretty consistent. This has worked really, really well. Teresa says she's off today. Jenna is working. Oh, and Made by Ashley Lynn says Mondays are her days off. Well, that worked out. We're going to use E37 and 35 for our cat. I did a base layer of E50 mostly because I know that's what I did when I colored this originally. I don't think we're going to actually see any of that though, so that's fine. Let me see. Misty says she's off today. We're going to take a little E35 now. Well, my youngest son, who's still in school, he does not have school today. In fact, I have not seen him yet. So he's probably, I've, I've heard, I can hear he's up. But he's doing a little sleep in, I think. Which is fine since I was doing this, let's just go ahead and E35 all that. I'm not really loving that base color. The great thing about Copic markers is you can kind of change what you're thinking. Let's see. Choice and Cry says she's a homeschooling stay home mom, so there are no days off. Yes, I agree with that. Afternoon from the UK, Deborah says. Hello, Deborah. Cynthia's working. <laughs> Messy Missy creates listening while I do some last minute tax stuff. Yeah, I sent all that off last week. So, yuck. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Yuck. Self employed sometimes is not awesome. I'm going to go back with E37 and we're just going to kind of do some little stripes. I'm doing a pretty simple kitty stripe here. I like to do these a lot. I just decided not to go um, super bold, I guess I want to say. There, that looks pretty good. Okay. So the most, most of this kitty was E35 and E37. My camera is not wanting to focus. There we go. Let's pick up some of this. Spring break, Michelle says. Oh, Megan says she's crafting today, stamping some Alta New layering roses. Oh, that's fun. Okay, let's go ahead and color our dog next. Let me get all my markers for that really quick. Am I missing one? There we go. We're going to do... This is one of my favorites, E40, 43, 44, and 47. If you have any question, I did list the marker color combinations down below in the description here on YouTube. And then 
the replay and my blog post with photos will be up a little later today. Oh, thank you, Made by Ashley Lynn. Yep, Lynn, self-employed. Oh, good times when it comes to taxes. All of it is bad. I think. Oh, well. What do you do? Let's see. I'm going to take a little E57. and I'm kind of ignoring this line in the dog. I think it's meant to like color two different colors, maybe. I don't know. I like to not follow rules, I guess, and just color the way I want to. It is cold here today. I know I saw someone from Texas said it was windy. It's a little windy here as well, but it is really cold. We had a frost advisory again last night. It was a cold Easter. I felt bad for all the little ones trick-or-treating. Trick or oh my goodness, you guys, Easter egg hunting because it was cold yesterday and cold today. Oh, Linda took the day off for her birthday. Happy birthday, Linda. Well, hi, Mindy. Finishing up projects and hanging out. Yes, I have so many projects to finish today. Same. Maureen says she's redoing her crafty corner. I always like to rearrange. I'm really still trying to get my bearings and see what I like. It takes me a while. Actually, it takes me a long while to figure out how I like my space. We're going to take E43. I think I just completely covered up that light color again. I always say err on the side of caution when you're coloring and go light and you can gradually get darker if you want. We're going to go back with a couple of our dark colors and add a little detail in. Oh, Sandy, that's fun. She's making some card samples for her local scrapbook store with Lawn Fawn products. I love that. That's really fun. Misty said had snow flurries this morning, but nothing stuck. Thank goodness. And Lynn says woke up to snow on the ground in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Yes. Oh, Sandy, it warmed up later after your sunrise service. That's good. It warmed up here too. I was so surprised because um, it was so cold in the morning. Yep, Kelly says in Madison, outside Madison, Wisconsin, it snowed there a little bit too. Yeah, it's not very spring-like, is it, guys? I don't know. I'm ready for no more snow flurries. Oh, Jody says she's at work, but by herself. So we're keeping her company. That is awesome. Okay, let's do our little chick. Let me find the colors I used here. We're going to use YR31 for the base. And I'm not coloring the super nicest, but that's okay. And then I'm going to use YR27 for the beak. I don't know what it is about the little birds and chicks from Mama Elephant, but I love them. This is a little YR24. Um, yes, DK Sherby says the wind has been howling nonstop where she's at in Texas for a couple weeks and it's exhausting to do things outside. That's how I felt too. I'm finally, my knee is well enough to like really walk with Odin. He loves to go for walks and there have been just, it's not nice. I can do a lot. Like I don't mind the cold, but well, I mean, I want it to be warm, but the wind is not my favorite. <laughs> Kelly says her daughter still wore her rain boots instead of winter boots. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I don't blame her. Wear the new boots. Oh, that is so neat. Mars S says today is Dingus Day. I hope I said that right. A Polish tradition of the celebration of the end of Lent and the joy of Easter. I love that. 
Move in closer, Lynn says. How's that? Let me know. Let's go ahead and color our red stuff. I was going to do something else, but let's do red. We're going to do the base of our, in the center of our fan in red. I'm going to use our 24, 46, and 39. And while we have that out, we're going to do the box. This particular, pardon me, particular box anyway. There's a couple of other ones. All fun little things you can set on the shelf. This is the It's Okay stamp from the April Mama Elephant release. Just released on Friday. And I love that if you have other Mama Elephant sets, you can totally mix in the critters with this. Um, and I think that would be really fun too. That's a little R46. Petra says it's sunny in Sweden. Well, I kind of wish I was there. Brenda, um, I will, I found a video tutorial on um, YouTube, I'm sorry, and I will link to that pattern for you when we're done. Hold on, I need to make a note. I will tell you, I adjusted my size just a little bit. Um, Kelly Person actually made one and she sent me the dimensions that she used. And so that is what I used. And when I post that link, I will post the dimensions. You'll have to make a few little adjustments, but if you sew, that's probably not a big deal. Or you can make it exactly like the video tutorial. Oh, this marker needs refilled. I really need to add that video to my list of videos to make, refilling the markers, how I'm doing it. Let's see. L L Liverbird says, Happy Easter from England. They've had lovely sunshine tulips, daffodils, and apple blossoms blooming. Oh my goodness, that sounds so beautiful. We're gonna use some C4 and C2 on the blades of our fan. Hello, craft, let's see, craft room adventures from Germany. Oh, first time catching a live, I love that. How many uh, first time live viewers do we have this morning? Definitely uh, drop like a number one in the chat if this is the first time. I would love to see how many we have today. And thank you guys for joining in. Okay, to kind of give the illusion that the fan maybe is blowing, I'm using BG72 or just to give it that motion, BG72 and 70. Thank you, DK Shervy. I figured with more of a muted background, we needed some color um, for all of the accessories on our shelves. And then I'm just basically coloring right over those fan blades. It's pretty light. Let's go ahead and let's do, I believe I did this book. Oops, in fact, let's grab these back out. I did a book and the vase with the fuchsia color. Hello, lots of ones, that is awesome. Hello, Karen from Wales. Fenella, hello, happy Easter to you. For the pages of the books, we're actually gonna use E43 and 40 
I use these on the dog, but I like to kind of just give the book a little bit. Liverbird. Okay, perfect. Thank you. It's always such a trick to know. Lots of new people, Cindy says. Yes, I love it. Maybe that's just because we're on a Monday or maybe people are off. We're using RV19 and 17. And I am just going to kind of, oh, that was messy. Go around. These are pretty small, so I'm doing minimal shading. We'll just finish this book. It doesn't have a ton. I think I forgot to shut down my email program too. That's annoying. I'll do that here in a minute. And let's color in our little plant. Car dealership, let's see, Rain Song 32. She's in a car dealership in Rhode Island getting her car serviced. Well, that does give you something fun to do, I guess, while you're waiting. Isn't that the worst? I always take something to do as well. Let's see. We're going to do a little YG21. And then I am not going to over blend at all. We're going to take YG17 and I'm basically going to go along each of the little leaves and just kind of do a little flick, I guess I'd call it. And we're going to leave it like that. I think that it's small enough. Then we're going to take a little YR09 and 04. Oh, Rain Song 32, thank you. Isn't that always fun when you get notifications? I do that too. I'm like, oh, I didn't know there was a live today. So a little orange. That's, I guess that's all the orange I'm doing. Let me, I think I did... So for the little like book labels on these boxes, we're going to do C4 and C2 again. Hello, Danielle. Just very light coloring. And then we're going to do some blues. Let's see. B23 for the bottom box is going to be our base color. We're just going to quickly add that. And then a little B26. And I think it's subtle, but you might notice that I did try to do rainbow. Um, just here and there. I made this joke on my planning channel. <laughs> when in doubt, rainbow it out. And uh, someone said I should get shirts made for that. And I totally agree. Sometimes when you don't know what to do, if you can, it doesn't have to be a, a like in your face rainbow, but if you just kind of touch on all the colors or a lot of the colors, it really works. Oh, school vacation week in Maine. We're going to use BG 53 and 57 for the little top box. Hi, Liz. Yes, it is a surprise. I already had a live scheduled for, let's see, I have premieres and lives already scheduled this week. So I really wanted to get this one that was supposed to be Friday, but we had tech issues uh, in early this week. So that I wasn't like squeezing it in, I don't know, some other time. I really just wanted to get this one done. Also, and get all the supplies put away. <laughs> okay, so on my card, I am using three shelves. I only stamped one here. I've done the others off camera. We're going to do E55 for the base. Whoa, that's not good coloring. And then we're going to do E59 and 57. 
Yes, Linda. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking that's my new motto. But also I like when it doesn't, it's not like an overt, like, oh, in your face sometimes either. I like it to be kind of subtle. There's a lot of neutrals going on here, so it definitely adds a pop of color. I really did the E59 from the ends basically, and then we're going to pull E57 further, and then I'm just gonna kind of blend there. Oh, bye Rain Song. We'll catch you on the replay. Glad your car's all finished being serviced. We're gonna blend out in the center. Just like that. And then you guys already probably know this. It's the magic of video. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, that's really awesome, DK Sherby. She says when she recreates my demo, she makes a swatch color. Well, and then it went by swatch color and finds it very helpful when she does other projects on her own. I love that. Okay, so here's all of our die cut pieces. We're going to set those aside for just a second. I know if you were here Friday, you saw me stencil the background, so I'm sorry. But for anyone who wasn't here, we're going to stencil it really quick. I have a zillion backgrounds now from all of those tests. Oh, I suppose I forgot to cut cardstock. That's okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and stencil it really quick, but we're going to move right on because I have backgrounds ready to go. The magic of video when it works well. Okay. I am going to zoom back out though for just a time. Well, maybe. Yeah, a little bit. Just a tiny bit anyway. And this is a four by five and a quarter inch panel. This is a heavy doodle brick stencil. Really any brick stencil is going to do here. And what we're gonna do is take some grit paste, texture paste. This is the grave texture paste, so it has some color to it. Let me find one. So it has color to it. There's also white, which you could add ink to and make your own if you don't have this one. This is Grave is from their Halloween. Uh, bye, Anne, and have fun at your hair appointment. Um, and we are going, oh, I've used up almost all of mine. I have another one though. <laughs> I loved this color, but if you need to make your own, I would definitely say, uh, just get white grit paste and add a little color to it. Like pumice stone, I think would be pretty close. Um, the pumice stone distress color. I'm going to use my palette knife to just put some here. And then I'm going to take a scraper pal and I'm using that curved edge. And we're just going to put this all over the background. I want it really imperfect. You'll notice this stencil is not imperfect but my backgrounds are because I'm really making an effort to not make it super perfect. I wanted it to look a little more worn and weathered. Okay, and then we will scrape off that extra. I have a little tub of water behind me. Normally, I would immediately take this to the sink, all of these things, and wash them. We are on video, so I'm going to dump them in my water so I can clean that after a bit. I'm going to let this completely dry. If I was making this card and when I made this card, I did the background first so it did dry. But I'm going to move this guy out of the way. And when then we have our choice of backgrounds because <laughs> I have so many. Um, I will end up with three finished cards. I have enough components for three finished cards once I die cut the images we just colored. But what we're gonna do is grab one of our backgrounds. We're gonna grab three of the shelves, whoops, and our images. And then we're gonna stamp some greetings. So we have that, let's grab 
my Misty that I already have ready to go. I have some cardstock here. Megan, yes, that's a gr it's a great stencil. Any brick stencil really will work there. Happy Monday, the Diary of Bill Rose. All right, let's see. So these sentiments, in case you just came in, are from the So Appreciated stamp set. This is awesome. I love these stamp sets from Mama Elephant. And then look at the dies and how close they cut. So obviously I have one ready to go for our card, but it die cuts super close, which is going to allow for a lot of the brick background to show. But how I got this ombre effect is we're going to take some Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Ink. I'm going to start with Marine. And we're just going to go ahead and stamp that. get our base color on there. Then I am gonna grab my blending brush and we're gonna take some Royal and Cadet and I'm just going to kind of pounce that color on to give us, so that's Royal, that's our dark color and Cadet's kind of our mid-tone. Probably should have done that the other way but that's okay. And I'm just going to kind of pounce it on and let's stamp it again. And that actually looks pretty good. There's a couple spots. I'm going to go back to my light marine ink and I'm just going to kind of ink up that top edge. There, that looks good. And then we're going to let that dry, which it will dry pretty quickly. But a blending brush can be used for so much more than just ink blending. Then for my second greeting, I'm going to take a little black ink. So it's going to just wanted to say thanks for everything. And again, the magic of video. I die cut this with a little sentiment strip die. And I've die cut thanks for everything with the coordinating so appreciated. Die. And we're going to be ready to put it all together. So I like to start down here at the bottom. Let me get some foam adhesive. We're going to use a combination of scrapbook adhesives, foam adhesive squares, and then also some waffle flower foam adhesive strips. And I'm going to take the strips for the shelves. Liz, I think that would be awesome. She says she's going to ask for the, some of the Simon Says Stamp saturated inks for her birthday. And I am just going to trim down the adhesive. And then I'm going to peel off the, the backing paper sticks a little bit. So I always use something kind of sharp to grab it. And then I'm just going to turn my background. It helps me line up easier. And we're going to start at the bottom and add our shelf. And I found it easier to kind of add the shelf and then add what goes on the shelf so that I got my spacing correct. Because you'll notice on our finished card, I left more room here so that I could put thanks for everything in between these two. Uh, Megan, I just kind of from anywhere, she is asking where I get my inspiration from. A lot of like scene building and stuff, I don't know. I always, for this, I was think for like building the shelves, I like to think how would I like to do it in my house? Does that guy seem off to you guys? I don't think I'm straight, sorry. That bothers me. Okay, so then we're going to place our little box here. I'm also going to say something about like inspiration. It can be found anywhere, but I also find like the more I create, the more creative I feel. So I try, I guess I didn't for about two and a half days, but I try to do something creative almost every day. It may not always be card making, but I feel like it really helps me stay creative. Even if it's just 10 or 15 minutes. 
And I love how my, the panda or any of the critters looks like they're like you could even if it depends on, you know, what critters you use from the stamp set. There's some others as well that they can hang off of like the boxes, not just the shelves, which is really fun. I like popping them up with foam adhesive. Gives it a little more dimension. And roller skates. Liz, I'm cracking up. That's funny. So you want inks and roller skates for your birthday. Is that correct? That's hilarious. I hope Ethan's up. I can hear him. <laughs> and then we're going to do the little stack of books. I always think it's kind of fun. It's a fun challenge. Um, which we'll get to here in a minute, you'll see, uh, to find things that work, embellishments, not things, embellishments that work with the stamp set, especially when scene building. And there's our little chick. So kind of once I have that shelf down, it's going to be a little easier to gauge the next one. Yep, Lisa, every time I see things not straight, and often it's like after I've already photographed the project, how I don't see it when I'm photographing it, I do not know. Um, and it drives me crazy. Oh, I think I maybe did the other one higher. Well, that's fine. It doesn't matter. All right. And then we're going to add our next shelf. I could get out my T-square ruler, but I'm not going to. We'll eyeball it. Okay. And then we're going to build our little shelf sitters. Oh, Mars, I'm so sorry for your loss. We're going to add our kitty. And then we'll add our boxes, which I think these, if you have something else to set on top, like even the chick, or you could do another chick or a little bird, whatever. I made it a chick, uh, could sit on top of these. I didn't because I wanted to leave room for my greeting, but that's an idea. Also, before I get too excited here and put the fan down, let's go ahead. I'm going to adhere. Let me get the pin out of my mouth. Adhere the greeting directly to the background instead of popping it up. Kind of like that. I'm going to flip it here to the side just to see. That looks pretty good. And then we'll pop up our fan. Oh, thank you, Joyous in Christ. Creative Cindy, it would be funny to have the shelf fall and all of the critters falling off. Yes, that would be funny. And then we're going to have our little fan, which I think I must have not had it right. Let's just move it over. Actually, that's not sticking very good yet, so let's move it up. Yes, let's do that. I want to be able to see that loop in the G a little bit. I don't mind it overlapping a little. Stay put now. All right. Then we are going to put our last or place our last shelf. And because we're getting so close to the top of the card, I tried to find 
uh, one of the critters that's a little lower, which I think probably any of them would have worked, but then I wanted to find a way to add some color up there. And that we're going to add the rest of our sentiment as well as a little heart. Yes, Jody says the critters are so cute. Christy, I love that this community is so supportive too. It is literally my very favorite thing. Let's place our little puppy up here. Mars, my best suggestion would to be pick a card, um, either one you've made or one that you like that someone else has made that you have supplies or similar supplies for and copy it. Don't worry about being creative. Um, copy something that you like or something you've made in the past that you love. And I think just being in your, your crafting zone and making something helps bring creativity back. Because I think we've all been there. Um, it doesn't matter what's going on. There's times where you just, you're struggling and it's hard to be creative. And I find that if I copy something, even if it's just for me, that often just gets my creativity back to going. And then I feel more like coming up with something on my own. I hope that helps. We're going to pop up our little sentiment strip. Okay, so here is the card with all of our stamps and dies. And then what I was talking about earlier, I love to try to find something to dress it up. And I found in my stash, I've had these forever. They're the Trinity Stamps Sending Love Embellishment Mix. Now, does it have my favorite little red hearts in it? It does. But it also has these little envelopes that I thought were so perfect for us card makers. <laughs> I have not used these. I cannot believe I've not used these yet. But we're going to make some of our critters look like they're hanging out holding these letters off the shelf and then we're also going to use some little hearts. Let me grab a little Simon Says Stamp Triangle tray to dump some of this out so I can get them a little easier. Oh my goodness, Lee says she lost her mom almost three years ago and she really struggled and now she makes her card every Mother's Day and puts it in a box that she decoupaged for her. I love that idea. I absolutely love that idea. Um, at my grandmother, I think I've talked about my grandmother before that was the seamstress. Uh, and I just, I always kind of attribute my craftiness from my mom and my grandmother. Uh, but when my grandmother passed, I actually wrote her a letter and we um, put it in her urn and things. So... I don't know. I loved it. That was one of my, it's a good memory for a sad day. But I feel like she's here with me. I know I talked about this before too. When I sew, I always think about her. Let me see. The envelopes are not die cuts vanilla. Isn't that amazing? I didn't even have to make them. They are literally these little embellishments. I don't know if you can, they're like the little clay embellishments. They are so fun. I've had them in my stash forever. I can't believe I've never used them. And they're perfect for little critters. I have a feeling I've got little critters who are gonna be holding on to these a lot. We're gonna add a few little red hearts from this mix. And again, this mix is from Trinity Stamps. I've linked to it at Simon. It was in stock at least when I made my list, which was last week. I don't know if it is now. But if you want to check it out. But it got me thinking about these embellishment mixes and trying to think of using them for scene cards because they work really great. All right, now there is a couple little things still.
Oh, Megan has a great suggestion. She says if she doesn't feel creative, she often makes backgrounds. She either does ink blending with stencils, alcohol inks, ink smushing. Use the colors you love. That is a fantastic suggestion. I love that. Okay, so I know I talk about this a lot, but I do like to always go in then with a black gel pen and just add, I forgot to turn my email off. I'm supposed to do that. I'm gonna add detail to my eyes like that and my panda's nose. And then I took a white pen and I did add like some little white dots to the cheeks. We're gonna add a little highlight to our vase. I think I added a little highlight to the center of the fan. And I believe that is it. Then we just need a white top fold card base. I'm gonna go ahead and use a bone folder and make sure it's flat. Oh, Denise, that's a fantastic idea. She's going to make her mother who passed in September, did I get that right? A card for Mother's Day, laminate it and put it on her tombstone. I love that. I love that. We're going to place our card panel down just like so, and it's got a nice little white border. And we have two finished cards and I can die cut all the rest of those critters and make another one in just a jiffy because I have everything ready to go. But I think with this big open spot, adding a couple of little hearts and then a little heart up here for a little pop of color and then these little envelopes, you could even add one right here. Um, if, if I picked a critter that had an arm hanging down, I probably would have. Uh, but I think it just adds a fun little finishing touch. Oh, thank you, Joyous in Christ. Okay, and that is it, you guys. We made it through. I can't believe it. Yay! <laughs> Let me see if I can flip my camera around. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions for me? Did I miss anything? I tried to keep up with the chat, but sometimes when I'm coloring, I miss some things. Thank you guys. Thank you so, so much. So it is a big week. There's a new release from Simon Says Stamp coming. I'll have a couple of videos this week. There'll be a blog hop, there'll be giveaways. Um, we are going to be doing a live Friday morning at nine, our regular time. So that will be fun. Teresa has a question. Yes, that video will be up on Patreon soon. Honestly, um, after Friday's live debacle, I kind of got mad and I didn't upload anything. I couldn't upload videos either, uh, e edited videos. And so um, I just took the weekend off, even though they told me they fixed it late Friday, but that'll be up this afternoon, yes. Um, let me see. Oh, thank you, DK Shervy. Oh, Christy, hugs. Oh, thank you, Melinda. Yes. Oh, Kelly, thank you. You made my day. I have to say, I was so upset Friday just because this has been an ongoing problem and it's completely out of my control. When it's in my control to fix my tech, um, I'm not quite as mad. But man, <laughs> when it's out of my control and I can't do anything, it's so frustrating. Yes, thank you, Wilma, for reminding everyone to give a thumbs up. If you could give a thumbs up, I would appreciate it so very much. Um, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for all of the kind comments that you've left and all of your support, especially during like tech issues and all of that. 
it's frustrating, but we, we made it through and I think everything is fixed now. So I'm so, so glad. Thank you guys. Definitely stay tuned. I'm going to be on a lot this week. Um, I'm going to have at least one premiere, so I'll be live to chat during that. Maybe both. We'll just kind of see. Um, I will definitely let you know in the community tab how that's going. And other than that, definitely, if you're interested in the Hero Arts Spring Stamp Along, check that out. Um, there's going to be a lot of great prizes. I'm sure Jennifer McGuire is going to be giving something away great there are auctioning off, pardon me, something great there as well, too, as well as all of the teachers. It's going to be a little bit smaller scale, obviously, than the U Ukraine car drive, but um, I'm really, really excited to participate in it. Okay, thank you guys. Have a fantastic week. I will be here all week long, and I will see you guys live on Friday. Thank you guys. Bye. Have a great week. The supplies used in today's video are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another project that you might be interested in. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss a new live video. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll catch you next time.